What is going on guys? Steve Tutorials here and today we're going to look at making frosted glass. Quickly want to do a shout out to my Patreon supporter Neil. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. It's very helpful. Right, so we're going to look at frosted glass and this took me a little bit of time to sort of figure out how I wanted it to look. But um, this is sort of the end result. And it's only very simple. This isn't that complex. I could probably make it more complex to look a bit better. But this is sort of the result I've got with just a simple node system. Right, so Let's go about how to set that up today. So, first thing we need to do is obviously make our material. Now, we need to get a texture that will replicate what our um, glass is going to look like. So, after going online, you can type. You can obviously type in, "Oh, frosted glass texture seamless." But after looking that up, I didn't get anything that looked very helpful to me. They were either too low res, or they just weren't seamless, and I didn't want to put the time in make them seamless, or they just didn't have like the lighting on them, like too bright at the top, too dark at the bottom, stuff like that. So instead, I decided, let's find a texture that looks similar to this. So I decided to go for, oh, actually, I have the tab open, for paper texture seamless. And this works really well, because that's sort of, cause when it comes to frosted glass, it's sort of just jaggedy, and it's just sort of what sort of screwed up paper would look like. So I took that texture, made a normal map out of it, and then put it in the engine. Let me try this out, and we could just drag in our normals, drag in our albedo, we can start working on it. So, <clears throat> first thing we want to do is we're going to want to tile these textures a little bit. So hold you left click to get our texture coordinate, so it's like 5, then um, I'm going to swap these over, then we want to maybe multiply this to make it a bit stronger. Um, then we're going to want to put a color in and I think I just kept mine at black but we can create parameter and call it color all right I then contrasted this a little bit and you don't need to do this step um, this is just because I wanted the whites and blacks to be contrasted a bit more and I think I took out the red channel just so it stayed black and white Actually, no, it makes it black and white when it becomes contrast anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, keep that there. Let's get a clamp. And the clamp is to sort of make sure I can keep up my minimum and my maximum. So, we want minimum to be about 0.2 and our maximum to be about 0.6. And then we want our a value in the contrast, maybe. 0 0.05. Then we want to connect it up to a passy. So this won't work yet. Let's click on a material here for the glass. Let's come to material domain. Nope. To blend mode. Sorry. Make it translucent. And as you can see, we can't get roughness, and our normals won't work yet. We want our roughness to be like a 0.1. So what you need to do there is you need to scroll down. So click back to us. Bleh, click back on this. Sorry. You scroll down, go to lighting mode under translucency, and just change it to, I believe, any of these work usually. Well, maybe not that one. Maybe just the bottom, bottom one. And that should work a lot better. So if we just click apply now, and we minimize that. And we have our material here. So let's copy this plane over so we can just compare the differences. Right onto there when it loads. There we go. And as you can see, we have a very similar looking material, except it's not distorting it in the way I wanted it to. So let's jump in. Let's put a refraction in of about 0.9. Click apply. Wait for it to load. Don't know why it's taking so long today. Hmm. Yeah, I think it looks fine. Ah, oh, there we go. And that should be done. So yeah, remember to keep your refraction in. Um, and the more refraction, the more it's going to sort of distort 
um, the image. You could change the color. So if we come into here, create material instance and throw that on. We then can just change color. I believe the more white, the more you'll see. Yeah, you sort of see it. So if you could bring it up very slightly, sort of there, you can sort of see it a bit better. And that's pretty much how I went about making frosted glass. There are small differences I've got in this one, but they're not too major. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope this helped. Um, for the person who commented asking for this, I hope this is what you was looking for. Thank you very much, and bye-bye.